Okay, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be giving you the secret to building bigger arms. Now before we get started, I just wanna I just wanna point out my shirt right now. You see this? See it says T'Challa. T'Challa King Wakanda established 1966, the Avengers. So if you guys don't know who uh, T'Challa is, that's Black Panther. But anyways, let's get started. So, a lot of you guys want big arms. What's the first thing you notice about somebody whenever you look at them and they like, you look at a big person, what's the first thing you notice? It's the guns, man. You gotta notice the guns. The guns are like the, the thing that pop out. So, I'm gonna show you guys something secret. So, today I'm gonna be doing a CT Fletcher workout. This is not one of my personal workouts. This is a workout that I've been doing for years. Or actually like two years. I'm saying years like I'm 30 years old. But anyways, so, what CT Fletcher starts off by doing is um, random selection. It's like random selection for bicep, uh, cable bicep curls and uh, cable rope extensions. So, whenever you're doing the cable bicep curls, you do 10, it's like a 10 by 10. So 10 reps, and after you finish up one, select another weight randomly, and do another 10. And so on, so on, so like you just keep switching up, getting different weights, and you do 10 sets of 10. So that's gonna be for the biceps. Now for triceps, I'm just gonna stay with the straight bar, but uh, so if you come in a little bit more, so I'm gonna stay with the straight bar, and what you're gonna do is the same thing, it's the same concept. 10 sets of 10, random weight. So we're gonna do 10 here, then after that, select another weight and do another 10. And the goal is to like not let go of the bar. Like you wanna keep the bar in your hands with at least one hand the whole time. So even when you're switching the weight, it's like, switch again, right, one after the other. And that's like, that's basically like the warm up. That's like not even part of the workout. It's like, the, that's, that's, the, that's the warm up right there. That's the warm up. Okay, now we're moving on to the official first movement of this workout, but before we do that, I'm gonna give out another tip. So like, you know when you work out, um, let's say you're working out chest, right? You're gonna add in triceps to that. Whenever you, if you want bigger arms, you have to be able to hit arms whenever you're fresh. Whenever you're hitting chest and you like do triceps after, your triceps are already fatigued. You're not getting as much out of your triceps as you possibly could if you were to do triceps alone by themselves. So I dedicate at least maybe one to two days a week to training my arms. So let's say, um, today, like, today, like today's Sunday. So I have a straight bicep and tricep day. I'm not incorporating back or chest into it because that's gonna take away from my arms ability to give the most it can versus doing it after I do chest or back. But anyways, let's move on to the first movement, which is gonna be some preacher, some uh, dumbbell preacher curls. And we're gonna do the single arms. So. What you really want to focus on is making sure you're digging your armpit into the bench. I guess you could call this a bench or whatever. You're, you're digging your armpit into the bench and what you want to do is you want to come down and fully extend the biceps. And then this is, this is the tricky part about it. A lot of people like to bring the biceps all the way up here to a full contraction. But if you notice, if I hold the contraction right here, there's no tension in the muscle. I can hold this forever. It's a lot more difficult to hold it right here because there's still tension within the bicep. So, it's like time under tension. So what you want to do is bring it right here and stop because there's still tension in the muscle. But if I bring it all the way up here, I can hold this forever versus bringing it right here. So once again, guys, fully extend the bicep, bring it up, not quite all the way, but bring it up to a point where the contraction's at its peak and then drop it back down again. So it's not exactly cheat reps whenever you're doing it the other way. Like people are like, oh, he's not coming all the way up, but that's time under tension training. You want to bring it all the way up because you're going to lose tension in your bicep. So what we're gonna be doing, the set ranges for this is literally two sets of failure. And that's why I really like this CC Fletcher arm workout. It's not too difficult. I mean, it's not too complicated in terms of what you're doing. It's straightforward and to the point. The only difference is that it's, it's high intensity. You're giving a lot of reps. And it's like each workout is basically like two sets of failure. You're not really counting reps, but you might wanna count reps whenever you're doing your single arm stuff because you don't want one bicep being bigger than the other. So if I do eight reps right here, I gotta make sure I get eight reps with my other arm. Now we're moving on to a tricep movement, which is gonna be some French curls. So another thing, like when if you're trying to build bigger arms, like I see a lot of people are like, okay, I'm working on my biceps. But it's like when you think about it, your tricep encompasses more than your arm, more of your arm than your bicep does. So what you wanna do is you wanna focus on your triceps more whenever you're trying to build bigger arms. But anyways, moving on to French curls. So basically, it's an overhead pressing movement and you always want to add something overhead when you're working out your triceps because that's gonna work the long head of your triceps. 
But let's talk about executing this movement. So notice how I'm in full extension right here. And as I come down, I'm gonna make sure my forearms touch my bicep. That lets me know that it's time to come back up. You don't wanna, co you don't wanna do your tricep, uh, your overhead uh, French curls like this. You're not gonna get anything out of that. You're not getting nothing out of that. You wanna stretch the muscle completely. So come all the way down, allow your forearms to touch your bicep, and then come back up. Once again, guys, this is not, if anything, that hurts my elbows. Like, that's really painful to do. So make sure you come all the way down, sit your forearms on your bicep, and come all the way back up. So we're gonna do four sets of failure. And what you wanna do is move up weight every single set. So first set, it was 80 pounds. This set's like 95 pounds. And then we're moving on to uh, 105 and then 120. But yeah. Okay, guys. So now we're moving on to a bicep movement. So here's another tip. Now, you don't have to go heavy in order to build bigger arms. What you have to do is focus on the volume you're doing and make sure you're getting blood into the muscle. So, right now we have 25 pounds, which is relatively light for me when it comes to bicep, but I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do half reps. What you wanna do when you do this is you wanna slowly rotate your wrist to try and like, to get to the ceiling, but we're not coming all the way up. So basically what you're doing is supinating your wrist, coming like this and staying right at the half point mark. We're not coming all the way up. So we're gonna do about six reps of this, nice, slow and controlled. And then after we finish up the six reps, I'm not gonna do all six reps right now, but just, you know, just for example, or we're, I'm giving you guys an example. So now we're coming through and we're gonna come right here, but we're not gonna go all the way down. We're, we're basically doing half reps. So we're stopping right there at the midline and coming back up. So, so like, it's lightweight, but like I'm already fatigued just because my muscles are not used to being in this position and I'm controlling the weight all the way through. So it's a little bit different than just like, I could do this for days. I can do many reps doing this. But when I switch it up and I come and do half reps and supinate my wrist coming from the halfway point and not coming all the way up, it's a lot different from just doing this. So basically six reps halfway, um, six half reps at the bottom and then six half reps at the top. Whew. It's like my biceps are already like, ugh, man. <laughs> All right, so now we're getting to the last tip here. So this is not the last part of my workout, but this is the last thing I'm gonna give y'all. So right now we're doing some single arm cable extensions. And this is like probably my favorite tricep movement. So I'm gonna show you guys how to execute this. Let me put the 40s. Actually, I'll stay with the 30 right here. All right, so what you wanna focus on is making sure your elbow does not move. That's one of the biggest things I think about whenever I'm doing these single arm cable extensions. Because think about it, if your elbow is moving like this the whole time, that means your shoulder is trying to stabilize um, your arm and you're basically kind of just working out your shoulder. But you wanna focus on keeping your elbow stationary and then all you do is simply extend. Now I'm gonna show you guys the old bodybuilding trick that a lot of people like to do. Uh, this is like usually a technique that people do whenever they have uh, a partner. So. We have a free arm right here, and what I'm gonna do is lightly touch my tricep, and that's gonna allow my muscles to kind of think, it's like, hey, we're working this muscle right here. And that's another way to create a mind to muscle connection. So just lightly touch my tricep here and there to make sure that my mind is knowing to know, my mind is like, hey, we're working this muscle. So I got a free arm, keep the elbow stationary, and simply extend and flex. This is easily one of my favorite tricep movements just because it's such a great isolation movement. So once again guys, do not move the elbow, keep it stationary. And if you want to, this is an old bodybuilding trick, touch your tricep to let your body know we're working this muscle. I mean, you should know you're working it, but it's just another tip to help you focus and isolate your tricep. Also, make sure 2 Change is playing in the background. <laughs> 2 Change is known to add about 20 pounds of gains, but uh, yeah, make sure you're listening to 2 Chains. Gucci Man's good as well. 21 Savage is it's up there. Oh, all right. We're gentlemen. We're gentlemen. Put that in your YouTube. <laughs> okay, all right, Sophia, I'm gonna ask you a question. You ready? She's ready. <laughs> what is the first body part about a guy you notice when they work out? Uh, I look at shoulders and arms. Shoulders and arms? Yeah. <laughs> right, what's the first body part about a guy you notice that says they look? Uh, I'd say shoulders or chest. Shoulders or chest? Yes, sir. Not arms? I would not say arms, man. I would say shoulders or chest. Damn. It pops right. out the most, man. <laughs> okay. All right, man. So what's the first body part you notice about a guy who says they look? Bro, their arms, man. Arms? Heck yeah, dude. You know when someone drives their car? Yeah. They stick their hand out, you know they're freaking lifting, man. Yeah, that's the correct answer, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's the first body part you notice about a guy who says they lift? Um, arms. 
Is correct that answer. Good? Good. Okay. Yeah, correct answer. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna ask you, what is the first body part you notice about a guy who says they look? Biceps. Biceps. So that would fall in the category of arms, right? Yeah. Arms. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Correct answer. All right, man. So what is the first body part you notice about a guy who says they look? Legs. Legs? Yeah, legs. Really? Yeah, so you can actually tell somebody lifts. Damn. Come on, man. Yeah. You're supposed to say arms. No, 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 legs, bro. Hey, he's, 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 he said, he said build, arms. Can build arms. He said arms. He said arms. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, a majority of people can tell you lips if you have big arms. So hopefully you can follow my tips, learn a little bit something here and there, and make some gains. What are you looking at? <laughs> so, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. Nigga, the cooker. When you turn away, a nigga don't cook up. Got an